Speculation has been rife in political quarters that the former premier would vie for the home of his senatorial seat after the death of his trusted Ali Utiyunu Kajwang last month. Proponents of a Senator Odinga argued that the court leader would get an opportunity to articulate national issues and take a leading role in protecting the evolution from the Senate. But most of his supporters and political pundits warned Odinga from taking the offer, arguing it would demean his stature. A meeting bringing together elders and political leaders from Homerby County yesterday visited Odinga at his Bondo home to plead with him to step into the shoes of Kajuang, but Odinga promised to respond to the request on Thursday. And today, the former premier made the much-awaited decision that he would not contest in the upcoming by-election slated for the 2nd of February. According to Odinga, his eyes are on the 2017 general election and his energy will now be concentrated on revamping the party. <laughs> Odinga denied that he had succumbed to pressure in his decision of refusing to buy. Though his decision was awaited on Thursday, Odinga said the deadline set by the IEBC for parties to nominate candidates by the 19th of December had prompted him to make the announcement today. Barely two weeks after the late Kajuang was buried, the race for the Homa Bay senatorial seat has gained heat and has attracted Kajuang's brother Moses Kajuang, former KBC managing director Philip Okundi, Cyrus Jakakimba and Fred Robongo, all seeking the ODM ticket. I take the speech of the former prime minister who is the party leader of our ODM party. I think he's a man of great wisdom. He has reviewed the situation and look at the sentiments coming out of our county. And indeed, he has clearly said that in order for him to look at the wider issues, the bigger issues which the country faces in terms of leadership, it is good for him to pursue those in front of our party. The ground where we've come from, we've been campaigning at the grassroots, and the people out there have said that the Prime Minister is not senatorial material. The Prime Minister is presidential material. To face the PM in that area, I would have naturally just withdrawn my candidature. But now, this puts me in the same race with my peers, and I think then, then therefore, my chances are then great. The former Premier also lashed out at the Jubilee Coalition for insisting that they will field a candidate in Kajiado Central after the nomination of Joseph Kayseri to the Cabinet by President Uhuru Kenyatta.